1863, 1 p.m. General Lee unleashes 140 Confederate cannons on this spot. It'll be so loud and so strong you can hear it as far away they say it's Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. For nearly two hours, the sky rains fire on Union gunners. Who was the focus of all this artillery bombardment? Cushing's Battery A, 4th U.S., which is right here in the angle. Alonzo Cushing, 22 years old, from Fredonia, New York, a West Point grad, and by this point in the war, seasoned artillery leader. By that end of that hour and a half, the battery is totally devastated. Cushing is badly wounded. Most of his fellow soldiers are killed, and he only has two working cannons as the Confederates march closer. He says, the infantry is coming. Can I push my guns down to the wall with your infantry? And Webb is kind of surprised at this. He says, you have every right in the world Take your guns off this field and remove them. You're injured. Get out of here. Webb's, uh, Webb is surprised when Cushing says, no, I want to fight. And from here, he'll shove those guns by hand down to the stone wall. He tells his sergeant next to him, Sergeant Frederick Fugger, I'll give them one more shot. Because Cushing knows it's about all the time he's got left. The cannon is loaded, double charged. He himself will pull the lanyard. The gun fires, and a second later, Cushing is shot through the mouth, instantly killed, and his body falls over the trail of the gun. A single person standing up to an army to become an American hero. Cushing slowed the Confederate march during one of the most crucial moments in the entire Civil War. But if Cushing had not been there, had not slowed the assault, it may not have given the infantry enough time to bring up extra troops to reinforce this part of the line. Cushing's life and courage are written in stone. The men who served with him that day placed a monument on the spot where he fired his final shot. And 151 years later, Cushing is getting the recognition he deserves. Today, the nation that lived pauses to pay tribute to one of those who died there. To bestow the Medal of Honor, our highest military decoration, upon First Lieutenant Alonzo H. Cushing. Uh, I'm mindful that I might not be standing here today as president had it not been for the ultimate sacrifices of those courageous Americans. The world is very different than it was in 1863, but what Cushing died for lives on in the freedom of every American. Mike Straub, News 8.